Hey, my fellow Sagittarius friends, and welcome to my channel. My name is Indigo, and I'm here doing your weekly love reading from July 5th through the 12th. I'm going to go ahead and tip you on down here. Thank you, as always, for joining me on my channel. And we'll see what the Spirit and Angels has for us today. Please and thank you, Spirit. What messages do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of the 5th through the 12th? Thank you for those of you who have joined me on Patreon. Um, I will start being there every day. Um, I started today um, offering daily reads um, and other uh, different spreads as well um, daily. Okay. So, Sagittarius, you are in a good place. You're in a good vibration. You are um, working on yourself, you're stable, you're grounded, or you're dealing with a um, Aries male um, who has entered your world by storm. Um, there's somebody you look up to, somebody of authority, um, could have a like a government position, um, like a judge, a lawyer, a police officer, um, something of that sort. Also could be your father. Um, Somebody that you hold in high regard and look up to. Um, however, you are moving away from this person. Uh, yeah, you are moving to a different location. I see for a group of you, this is like physically moving um, away from this person. And you are working on being single. Could A group of you could be go, uh, moving to go to school. Um, I'm seeing that as well. But... You're um, setting out in search of finding yourself. You um, you kind of feel lost in the world right now. You don't. You're not quite sure um, what you're gonna do or how you're gonna do it, but you're gonna be successful at it. And there's the Queen of Wands. There you are in your own reading. Um, you're gonna be just fine. You look great this week. Um, people are like flocking to you. You look amazing. You feel amazing. Um, could be dealing with a Taurus, but you are ending a contract of some sort with this person. Um, yeah, yeah, you are, uh, you are deciding that you just need to be on your own for now. Um, the person you are dealing with, they are closing a chapter as well. They are ready for a new beginning. They've been holding on tight to their emotions. They haven't emotionally invested in this situation um, or in this relationship out of fear of being hurt. And they're holding tight to what they got now. They know you're moving forward. vision, where to go, where to move forward, and I see this relationship ending, Sagittarius. What is the outcome of these two energies? If there is any outcome. You are going to be moving closer to somebody, though, Sagittarius, that you have, feel you have a deep connection with. Yep. Well, it ended out beautifully. Your outcome cards are amazing. So before I get to the outcome, I'm going to pull some clarifying cards. I'm going to scoot you over just a little bit. There we go. Why is the Emperor here for Sagittarius the beginning of the week? Yeah, you feel very you feel like you're on guard all the time with this person. You feel like you're constantly defending yourself and you have um you're at a crossroads. You have to pick which way you're going to go and you're going to move away from this person. You're tired of feeling like it's you against the world. Um even though you don't know exactly where to go from here, you know that you can't stay. With the 9 of pentacles, you got the 4 of swords in reverse. So, you're losing sleep over this um connection. This person stresses you out. 
Yeah. Um, you know that what you want, you want life is the Ten of Pentacles. You know you can obtain that. You know you it's within reach, but you have to go for it. And I do see you because this person um, is not the person you thought they were. You're no longer going to um, to allow this energy in your space. You are closing a chapter and you have a new beginning um, starting very soon. Um, this person has the world. They are closing a chapter. Also, they could be going through a divorce. Oh, this isn't a person you're with, Sagittarius. This is a person you're in separation from. Okay, they are closing out a situation as well. They are divorcing um, somebody or they are separating from somebody, closing out that chapter. They haven't really invested much emotion into your connection because they're scared. Um, they could have blocked you or blocked communication with you. But they're ready to move forward with the Four of Cups. They know that they're no longer happy in this place. They're no longer um, uh, content with where they're at. The universe is trying to show them something to move them closer to you. But they're just not seeing it yet. Yep, the Chariot with the Seven of Cups in reverse. They are moving forward. They're no longer confused about your guys' connection. They know you have the Ten of pinnacles and they want that with you they've been holding back making a choice um on who to pick i see they are with somebody else um and they've been holding back from moving forward in a decision because they've been very confused um but they're not confused anymore they want the fool they want the new beginning the new start and they haven't been getting it with where they're at so they are going to move forward in order to get that um, you have felt betrayed by this person in the past, but this is not the energy um, of them. You are getting over past hurts with somebody. You're getting over a failed marriage or relationship yourself. Um, and you guys both closing chapters with that ten of um, swords there. You guys are at a distance from each other right now. You guys are coming closer together. You guys are moving um, in the same direction of the, each other. Yeah. And this person, you're getting from this person. They're going to send you a message um, where uh, offering something, offering you um, some sort of tangible energy. Okay. Then this is in reverse is Hermit. So you, uh, you could be dealing with a go. Or um, somebody has just uh, taken their energy and placed it somewhere else. Like, they've retreated already. They have gone within. They have tried to figure it out um, within themselves. They've been spiritually enlightened. And they're not going to hold back anymore. They're not going to um, hold back from you. Why is the tower here in the outcome? Yeah, they need this tower hap moment to happen in their life separate from you in order for them to be able to move forward and offer you this cup. Um, the cup being offered is going to bring the tower down in their uh, life with somebody other than you. But this needs to happen in order for them to move forward with you. Why is this star here? Lots of major arcana in your outcome. That's beautiful. Big changes. Um, you've been very patient, um, and divine timing is here with the star on the upright, everything that you've been fighting for, everything that you have wanted, that you've been to battle for everything that you are scarred up and, and just fought till the death for is coming your way. The stars are aligned. It's destined and it's time. Why is the wheel of fortune here? Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, um, a passionate new beginning. The up, the upswing of the wheel is in your favor, so you do have a new beginning coming with somebody. Um, this relationship is going to be balanced and fair and and um, an equal give and take, which is something that you both are coming out of that lacked. Um, 
very, very awesome energy here. So Sagittarius, let's recap. I see you leaving somebody that you look up to them. They're an authority figure. They could be a police officer, a judge, um, somebody who holds a high position within a company. They have their stuff together, but you feel like you're constantly on guard and defending yourself with them. You are moving forward because you're at a crossroads. You're moving away from this person. You're going to be successful and confident. And the Ten of Pentacles is here. It's with, by the end of the week, this is being offered to you. You are going to put away the hurts of the past. You're going to put all that behind you. Move forward with your lessons and leave all that behind. The person that you are um, connecting with, they are closing out a chapter as well. They are leaving somebody. Um, they are going to open up communication with you because they've been holding back. The universe is trying to show them something. Um, they're just not quite seeing it yet. But they are moving away from this person because they're no longer confused about your guys' connection. And you guys will have a new beginning. They're choosing a new beginning, choosing a leap of faith. In your outcome, you guys are moving closer together. They're going to offer you something and you're going to take them up on it. They're going to come in very quick because they've been enlightened in this um, hermit. They had to have a tower moment in their life in order to offer you this cup. But it was destiny. It was made, meant to happen. The stars have aligned and divine timing is here. And a new passionate beginning with this person. Within the week of the 5th through the 12th. Ten Angels, what advice do you have for... Oh. Children, your love life is being affected by your children or by children. So they could have children and that's why they've held off leaving this person. Or you could um, have children and uh, you guys are just trying to work out the situation. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or experience. So um, don't shut anybody out. Everyone is in our life for a reason, and you may just be surprised. This person, however, is worth waiting for. This is my twin flame card. Um, divine timing is at work in your love life. It's worth the wait, and your bottom of the deck is calling in your soulmate. Your, part, or your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you two together. So keep the faith, Saggies. You guys have an amazing relationship coming towards you by the by the 12th of July. Um, communication will be open and you guys will be making plans for the future. Um, I do see towards the beginning of the week around the 5th, um, you guys are going to um, get the ball rolling as far as moving forward. It will be towards the end of the week, um, towards the end of the 12th before the person you're waiting on, however chooses to ride that chariot on out of town. So congratulations, Sagis. You have a beautiful reading. As always, love, light, and God bless.